you guys so this video is gonna be a little bit fast because I am on my way out the door but I figured before yeah but I figured before I actually get out the door I'm gonna record a video so I can edit it for this week um yeah so I'm kind of on a roll this week I post every Tuesday and probably on a Saturday um so but my schedule is supposed to be every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday so I'm trying to edit this video and yeah Anyway, I'm trying to stay on schedule, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me I'm doing a good job. If you like the content that I'm actually putting out, I do actually respond to my comments. And I do actually watch, you know, all the all the stuff, whatever. But today, I'm coming to you today. Obviously, today, I'm coming to you today. With my everyday um, box. So, it's the month of August. It's... It's like midweek of August or whatever, but I put a box together of my everyday use. Um, but my everyday use doesn't really consider a full face, so I just put some stuff in here that I would like to put on my face or my eyes or whatever to at least try to use some of it up. Because as you know already, I do have a bunch of makeup. It's really annoying now, so I'm trying to get more uses out of it. And as you can see, my room still hasn't been set up yet. I'm still getting used to my uh, lights. But hopefully you do like um, what I'm talking about whatever. So yeah, we're just going to get right into this. Um, first, we're going to talk about eyes. It's not really that big of a box. But I have my Viseart Dark Matters palette. And probably like why dark uh, colors when it's still summer. Um, red eyes and orange eyes are still a thing for whatever reason. And honestly, I used it today on my eyes for my crease, whatever. See, you have these reds here and these oranges here. And I figured, um, also, I would, well, this whole roll up here, this is a very good roll to use for this summer. Um, especially just like this quad right here. And when I go to work, I literally just put something in my crease. So those shades that I just said are a very good crease color. And they plus, um, I had this palette for... A good amount of time now and I figured that is it should I should get more use out of it because I do absolutely love these colors they're still very much pigmented and I, and I love Vizzy art all in all even though I only have this palette but I want to get another one but $80 for one palette just doesn't sound cool even if I do buy it on sale get 20% off that's $16 less and then it's for eyeshadows, we have ColourPop Perception Palette by Makeup Shayla. This is it right here. You have already seen me talk about this a bunch of times. And if you follow Makeup Shayla, you already have seen this a bunch of times also. Anyway, here it is right here. It's basically a neutral palette with pops of color. So I, I say it these in here, a color. And, if, and this is a really good palette. You can do color one day or not color one day or, you know, just go all neutrals. This um, will be very good for vacation. And like I said, it's very good for my everyday looks. Um, absolutely, these shimmers right in here are like perfect. Oh, well, I didn't grab a shimmer. I grabbed a matte. But these shimmers in here are absolutely perfect for everyday. Um, and that's what Mako Shayla actually is. She's actually a kind of a neutrals girl or whatever. Um, she won't say it a word, but she actually yeah i want to get more uses out of this palette because like i said i never really used colourpop shadows until i got this and their mar palette and then i just got their give it to me straight palette and i absolutely love them but i want to get more use out of it because for some reason i'm in a pink phase again a pink well i'm in a natural phase again so if i do natural it's kind of bold so those colors those shimmers would just go good with that Okay, then I got something boring, just a setting spray by Urban K. Just trying to get rid of it because um, it's like on its last leg. I have my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus in the, in, the, in the scent Lavender. It's like literally like right here, so I'm just trying to get rid of that too. Okay, then I have a mascara. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I don't really wear mascara like that, so that's why I put it in here. I'm wearing mascara today. Um just because i don't feel like wearing lashes right now but i want to use more of my mascara because i think this is basically it and they only last for three to six months i like to throw my i like to throw mine out at three months so if i'm not using it i mean it's a waste of money next we have jeffree stars um rainbow sherbet lip scrub 
you've already well i have a video coming out about this product or whatever basically it's just a sugar scrub that tastes like sherbet is absolutely wonderful since i've been using sugar scrubs more my lips haven't been flaking that much and it's easier to draw on my lip liner so yeah so next we're going to talk about highlighters first we got the jeffree star siberian gold i haven't really used this that much but it's absolutely beautiful i have it on my cheeks today and um, um it's absolutely beautiful um i don't know why i wasn't wearing really wearing this a lot i guess this depends on my skin tone at the moment so this is it right here it's almost like i want to say an antique gold but that's your own decision it's absolutely beautiful um, once you get, I want to say, once you get that top layer off, it comes off so much more pigmented or whatever. But, no, not pigmented. It is pigmented, but there's a layer on it that takes you a while to get off or whatever. And once you put it in the cheek, it almost gives you like a natural highlight. So, his highlights are known for being really booming, really out there. But I swiped this on and it was the exact amount that I wanted. And I know I'm like I said before, like I'm I'm going into very natural looks lately. So that natural highlight is absolutely what I need right now. Not something that's like of highlight. So next we got Dose of Colors and the Desi and Katie collection or whatever. This is called Merrime. I haven't really worn this either. I mentioned in my highlighters video that I absolutely hate this, but it's a peachy it's a peachy highlight if you if that makes any sense and like i said before it's not really that booming it's not really that blinding so right now it's the perfect combination for what i need as a highlight and you're probably looking at me like dang she said that's not a booming highlight but i absolutely think this is toned down for myself because i used to yeah this is actually toned down this packaging is absolutely beautiful, which I think is the other reason I haven't thrown it away. And because I also love rose gold in general. I love the color rose gold. So I think that's another reason I haven't thrown it away. And plus I was like waiting for that for that highlighter because it was always going out of stock. And then I got it on sale also. So next we have a powder. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. And it's in the color um, W7 Caramel Beige. And this is what I want to use for underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Um, obviously I'm going to set my concealer with, um, with the, Lori, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is in my, this is in my monthly too. If you know... If you see, well, there's a video I'm gonna upload, but I got just got the Too Faced translucent medium, and I absolutely love that because it doesn't leave my under eyes that dry, and it doesn't leave my under eyes that white either. So I want to use this up because I'm I'm going to switch to that, and I've been using it ever since I got it. So these two combos together will not leave my under eyes white, and not that well, it probably will dry it out a little bit, but it won't be like drastic or whatever. So I'm going to use those two powders. I have a blush. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. You have seen me talk about this once before. Plenty of times before. And I am not making any paved way in this at all. Oh, I guess I am. I guess this is it so far. You can see where the hump is at. The hump used to be bigger. But, yeah. I had this for so long. And it's actually still very pigmented. But, I love a natural blush. I don't want it to look like blush on my cheeks or whatever. I like it to just look like I'm flushed with a blush, if that makes any sense at all. We have the Pure Illumin Illum Correcting Primer. That's what it says. I don't know how you correct with a Illuminate and Glow, because it actually leaves a glow to your skin. And I actually like this. Yes, it does leave a glow to my skin. But that goes for days when I want to look extra dewy or whatever. So I put a good amount of this underneath my foundation. And then I use like L'Oreal Pro Glow or whatever. And yeah, that combination together is excellent. 
So we got my son here. So next we have the glitter glue by Too Faced. And if you're wondering why I'm putting the glitter glue, um, my eyes actually are kind of deep set. If I put a shimmer in my eye, it seems to transfer to the top of my crease or whatever, and I don't like that at all. So if I put this glitter glue underneath it, whatever, it stays in place. So, and then also I had this for a good amount of time too, so I'm getting double use out of this, as in using it for my glitters and using it, using it for my glitters and using it for my for just shimmer pigments so yeah i'm trying to get rid of this too i don't know why i work because this is absolutely one so speaking of glitters we have the stilla glitter and glow glitters, we have the stilla's glitter and glow this is in the color kitten karma it's actually what's on my eyelids today i absolutely love this i feel like i'm almost out of it i see no bald spots of it yet so yeah, I'm going to try to use this a little bit more up, and like I said, it's a pink shade, so like I said before, I'm going for more pink looks or pink. and hopefully you like it. pink. Yeah, baby. This is my Fenty Beauty's Truffle um, Contour Stick or whatever. Um, I do like the word cream contour, and this is how much I have of it left. Um, I don't put it all around my forehead anymore, even though I probably should. I just bronze on my forehead, but for my cheeks, I like to put in because I'm gaining a little bit of weight, so it would be just nice to just slim down my face today. I did use it to slim down my face today. It's pretty natural. I actually like it. It's not as dry once you get to use it more. Like, when you first buy it... Hey, John, where you got? When you first buy it, yes, it is dry, but as you use it over time... It gets creamier. And then two boring things that I have used plenty of times before is my NARS concealer and mint dark one. And then my Anastasia dip brow and chocolate. You've seen me use these plenty of times before. I'm literally always using these. This is how much I have of my soft matte concealer from NARS. This is how much I have from my Anastasia dip brow. Hopefully you can see that too. So anyway, you guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you very much liked it. These are the products that hopefully I get to use for a whole straight month or whatever. Or probably two weeks. I get bored quickly. So two weeks to a month, I'm going to try to use these products consistently. And hopefully make some headway. So yeah, you guys.